truth, please turn the camera, please. Uh, you can go and sit down. Wait now, it's okay. I want you to also tie another person. How do you tie the other person? You have another, you have extra rope. They really want to tie this man. Praise God. You have another rope. It's okay. Bless you, you have another rope. It's okay. Pastor, it's okay. You are tying him too much. Praise God. Uh -huh. His hand is loose. Just see what we are doing. You have another rope. Get rope if you can get rope and be fast. Mountain air con didn't tell you. Bring it for us, let's bring it temporarily. Uh -huh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Tie down one sound for me. Just gently. Tie his leg now. Okay, so come like this. Thank you. They are commenting. Be fast. You can come. Okay. They can't even move. So can you see the both of them? Can you come and space them for me? They are facing. Praise God. Go and lose him. Can you lose him? Eh? Can Mountain lose him? Why? Is it bondage? Ayo, can you lose him? Why can't I lose him? Eh? Okay, both of them are in bondage. Okay. That's the problem of the church. A man that needs deliverance is trying to deliver that man in bondage. I mean, you yourself, you are what, sir? You yourself, you are in bondage, you are in captive, and you are ministering deliverance to people. How does it work? How will it work? Y you can see the way this brother is sitting this morning. You know there's a problem. Hallelujah. A man that needs deliverance is already ministering deliverance to people. A pastor that still needs to be prayed for is already praying for people. This is the reason why there is abundance of bondage in the church. Those that need deliverance are already ministering. Oh, you're going to minister to him now. At the end, both of them will not be free. Both of them will be in bondage. They will return back. Blessed is struggling with masturbation and he wants to cast out the demon of masturbation. You've not conquered covetousness and you want to cast out the covetousness of other people. It's only those that are free that can minister deliverance to people. Hallelujah. Now, lose one of them. That you're a man of God does not mean you are free for battle. In fact, there are men of God that are in abundance of battle. May God give growth to be understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. I say, may God give you understanding. Amen. The way you are looking at me now. May God give you understanding. Amen. You see, no, he's free. Free him now. Only a man that is delivered can deliver another man in battle. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, I want to be an instrument of deliverance in your hand. Deliver me. Uh, you are here to conquer poverty and you are ministering. Um, hallelujah. Uh, Anointing for prosperity. Your reality is denying the gospel in your mouth. Please let this thing be on record. Though. Lift up your two hands. Some of you don't need the prayer. I know you are free. Father, I need deliverance. I need 
urgent deliverance. I need urgent. Somebody say urgent deliverance. Can you take out time and pray? Father, be gracious to me. I need deliverance. I need deliverance. I need deliverance. Saparatamatika bash. Lebrekate bakata paradia. In Jesus' name we pray. Now they say, Brother Gudikbe, we want to pray for somebody that is masturbating. You first ask yourself, when nobody's there, you ask yourself, am I truly free from this thing? Are we together? Yes, sir. Don't I have tendency for immorality? When you check yourself through and through, then you discover that cut the source tendency in there, you will tell them I'm not yet mature for this operation. Don't be too arrogant to tell people your present spiritual status. I'm not yet what, sir. I'm not, not, I'm not mature for this. Why can't you be preaching on prosperity? Sir, you are preaching on prosperity. And there is nothing pro in your life. The gospel becomes a lie in your mouth. Because example communicates principles. When we look at everything, you say, okay, okay, the guy has preached a very powerful sermon. Let's check his life. If Mountain comes and talks about excellence in academy, people will listen to him because he has a result to show for it. Not you. Not what's up. Even when they give you face, you know that face. You, you need academic also deliverance. You need the deliverance first. I'm praying for two people today. You will be truly delivered. Yeah. Lift up your two hands again. Say, Father, this morning, I need urgent deliverance. Show me your mercy. Urgent in this aspect and this aspect of my life I need it urgently pray tell the Lord to give you urgent deliverance by the spirit of God urgent deliverance I need it by the Spirit of God this morning. In Jesus' sweetest name, we pray. Somebody shall urgent deliverance. Now, the Bible says quickly in our scriptures we read yesterday, quickly, Job chapter 14, verse 1, be fast. Job chapter 14 and verses 1. In Job chapter 14, verses 1, hallelujah. The Bible says, can you say, Mountain? man that is born of a woman is of a few days a man that is born of a woman is of a few days but the bible said those few days will be full of troubles those few days of your life that you live on earth it will be full of trouble the scriptures never tell you that you're going to have a beautiful and a rosy life there's no portion of the bible that guarantees that but the Bible says all the days of that man will be full of what's troubles, trials, hallelujah. That's why if you look at, hallelujah, in Psalm 23 verse 5, the scripture told us in Psalm 23 verse 5, Psalm 23 and verses 5, the word of the Lord said, give us verse 4, hallelujah, Psalm 23, let's take from verse 4, the Lord is helping us. He said, ye do, that is the man born of a woman, he said the man born of a woman aside that his days are few and is full of trouble the bible says this such a man will be walking through the valley of the shadow of death that means all of his experiences will be full of danger one trouble to another he's trying to resolve one is entering another one that's 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 that will be the experience of that man all of his days will be full of dangers we're saying the midst of faith i will fear no evil for the lord shall be with me his rod and the staff so if you think you have a rosy life you see one of the reasons why I'm just putting this I'm, I'm going back to this is to first put in your consciousness that a man every man born by a woman is born for trouble did you see it? Yes, sir. did you see it in the scriptures? Yes, sir. and the Bible went forth to say in Psalm 118 verses 5 in Psalm 118 and verses 5 please be very fast because of our time I'm showing you I want to show you seven facts 
about the battles of life. How many? Give me 13. 11813. Seven fat about the battles of life. In verse 13, Psalm 118, verse 13. He said, Thou hast thrown soul at me. That's the man. All of his days is full of trouble. He said, Thou hast thrown truth at me that I might fall. He said, But the Lord help me. Trials upon trials. One battle to another. Let me quickly say this as the Lord beginning to help us. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19, every man born by a woman, nobody here wouldn't come out from a woman. So yesterday, I told you the origin of the battle. The origin of the battle starts at birth. A man born by a woman. Is this a horse? And all the days be full of horse. You are not talking to me. Oh. He says, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to deliver thee. Because even God is aware that your software, the moment you came into time, is a software of battle. Software of crisis. And until you wake up and begin to run with this reality, you might just end up living in the shadow of the old essence of the plan and purpose of God for your life. Apostle, all these things you are showing us is Old Testament. What about the one said, the Bible said in the book of John chapter 16, verse 33. John chapter 16, verse 33. Hear what the Bible says. I came to talk to somebody. He said, this thing I have spoken unto you, that ye might have peace. He said, in the word, ye shall have what, sir? Battle. You, you shall have battle. Tribulation means battle. He said, in the word, give us another version, please. You see, I started this yesterday to awaken the giants in you, but some of you still went back to bed. Read it now. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. He said you will do what, sir? <laughs> That's Jesus coming to reaffirm that truly the days of a man born by a woman is full and is full of suffering. That's why you can see all of your experiences are not funny. That's why if you are not in partnership with God, the system of the world will so much oppress you that you end up living a failed life. And let me tell you this. This category of people does not need to pray with us this morning. This set of people, you don't need to pray with us when we begin to pray. Hallelujah. Bless you. What did I say? This set of people, you don't need to pray with us. Seven fat about the battle of life. You see the way you're looking at me? It's part of the suffering I'm talking about this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody will say, Apostle, I don't want to understand my life from one crisis to another. Job 14 verse 1. It is only, see, the only exception rule from this divine program is when you are with God. You can only escape these things when you have relationship with the Father. Is God speaking to somebody? I don't want to waste my time. Man born of a water. Supposed to be a man. Man and woman. Who? Because it is for man they brought woman. So when God, when you see man, God is referring to both gender. Do you understand? Woman was brought out of man. They call him woman because she has a womb. To be a man. Is God speaking to you now? Man born of a woman. Is there a few? Now listen. The following set of people should not bother praying with us. You don't. Please move out. Please. You don't have a battle. This set of people. Listen to me. The following set of people. They don't need to pray with us. Hallelujah. They don't have what sir. They don't have battle. Praise the Lord. Number one. If you are not in this world. Are you in the world? You are not in the world now. He said, though we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Uh, what that means, you don't practice the civilization and the culture and the you understand now of the world, but however, your location is the world. And the program will not affect you if only you are connected to Jesus. Uh, so blessed, you don't need to pray if you are not in the world. Maybe a celestial being will just come for you. Came on Sabbatica on earth, and very soon you'll be going. Praise God. Amen. Number two, if you know who undo your blind center, follow me. <laughs> huh? 
if you know who handle your placenta at birth, you don't need to pray with us. I mean, a guy was 40 years old and his life was full of struggle. He was suffering seriously. Went to pray mountain to mountain, no result. And one day he met a genuine man of God and a genuine man of God said, go to this house and ask for this person. Tell the person to give you your blind center. And then he got there, someone hated mama and the mama went inside, brought a bottle. The blind center was still fresh. I mean, over 40 years. Do you know who is holding your home? Do you know what they did to your home? You don't need to pray with us. If you have, are you, are you for an answer? Yes, sir. Ah, the Bible says from the day that I was born, he said your blind center was not disconnected from battle. You see, there's a medical doctor who, when they give birth to children, he will avert the blind center of young children, put them in bottle, then add water, you'll be drinking it. Uh, so that whatever the child brings into the world has become his own, to her to his own glory. Uh, but Olomi now knows where his blind center is. Praise God. Some of you, when we go through prophetic investigation, you will discover that some of your placenta is still fresh. And that is so long they have it, they can control your life. No man can, once they have this thing in their custody, they will direct your life. They will orchestrate your part on earth. If you know where your placenta is, no problem. Don't pray with us. Number two, if you know who bait you, where they pour the water and the first punch is, then you, we can talk. You don't need to pray with us. Who baked mountain first? Where did they pour the water? Don't be surprised that some water in the covens. And they have been using it year by year to eat. <laughs> that's, a, that's what they used to boil their witchcraft meat. That's your glory. If you know where your sponge is, where they put your phone's points. I came tonight to prove. And I, to pray. When you come into a deliverance meeting like this, you see why many of you can never be serious with life? It is not, it is not your will not to be serious with life. But there's a force greater than you that is making you to live your life in a way that you don't want. Where is your plan center? Where is the first punch? Where is the first water? Who did your circumcision? Which hand carried you at birth? These are things. These are source points when you are trying to find out where your life battle is coming out from. But I have a good news for you. The Bible says in Isaiah 49 verse 2. You know, if you know this thing, you don't need to pray with us. In Isaiah 49, somebody say, I'm in Christ. The man is in Christ, a new creature. No problem. No. Did I argue with you? Truly, you are a new creature, but your battle is not new. Your battle is just waiting for you. What happened at salvation? You received the life of Christ. Then now, you now have intelligence how to confront battles. You have the endowment and the empowerment of the spirit to begin to take authority over issues of life. If you stop at, I'm a new creation, and you don't continue from there, brother, your battle will continue. I'm more a new creation than Yahweh. Are you following answer? I mean, they are saved, but they are mad. They are saved, but there's no result. It is not just salvation is going to bring an alertness and empowerment that you begin to enforce and then begin to tell the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus, whatever thing they've done to me, I override. Then they will obey because now you have power. That's the position of salvation. But the Bible says in Isaiah 49, verse 24, if you have told you if you're not in the world and you know who is a sponge, or the mother said. Uh, you cannot talk to me, sir. You are not free. He said, Can the Bible now says, Can the prey be taken from the mighty? Because the people with your sponge, they are the mighty. The people with your placenta, they are the mighty. The people with your first water, they are the mighty. The first hand that carry you, they are the mighty. Or the captive of the righteous delivered. Next verse. Give us King James, please. And be very fast. Oh. He said, but thus hear the Lord. This is the counsel of the Lord. He said, even the captive of the mountain shall be taken away. Hmm, there is hope for deliverance. Hallelujah. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. He said, I the Lord will contend with them that contend with you, and I will save thy children. Uh -huh. 
He said, I will feed them the oppressed day with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord. When we God do these things, when you begin to pray, when you begin to call upon the Lord, and you are telling the Lord, I need your help. Prayers of deliverance are not prayers of romance. Pray so that you will not pray. There is something called wrong hour of praying. Prayer is not wrong. But when you did it, it can be wrong. I mean, Mountain is just praying about his life at 75. At 75. The prayer is not wrong. But when he's praying the prayer, it's, what's it's wrong. The timing is wrong. So, all prayers are correct, but the timing. So I used to tell people, pray so that you will not pray. Pray so that you will not pray. Joshua, I want to start praying the 500 level. Lord, help me to graduate. You don't pray, Lord, help me to graduate the 500 level because it's any that will determine it. When you start praying, it's before you get to 500 level. Lord, I refuse to have a strike. Help me to clear all my backlog, all my references. Give me intelligence to do well in school. Not that you not get there and be praying emergency prayer. All of this way, emergency prayer, to what end is it? You don't remember God. It's when there's fire on the mountain, you just eat God. You so long, the fire fatter. No relationship with God. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord, I need help this morning. Seven fat. I thought you came to church this morning. Blessed, are you there? Yes, One of our close brothers used to tell us some of the things they used to do in UI. All those professors used to tell us some of their things they do there. He is very close to them. You will see some universities, some lecturers, all of you have to register for their course. They will just submit your name for sacrifice for that year. They will do that. You can't go to university and not be on fire. All sort of things is happening in the school. They say, come for morning prayer, you sleep on your bed. You, sir, everything you do is a seed. The person that prays, he will harvest it. The person that plays, we harvest it. Everybody will still begin to look like the prayer they pray and the one they refuse to pray. You can't look like a prayer you didn't pray. That's why you can't look like William's success. William is coming every morning to pray, or sleeping on your own. You see, somebody say he, he, he slept 3 a.m. doing what first? 3 a.m. watching movie. I mean, you are watching how to shoot gun that they will see shooting your dream. You know that you are mad. How can you stay extra night? Not that you are reading, not that you are praying. You just sit down for lecture, wasting your time in the morning. What value did you add to yourself in the middle of the night? No spiritual value, no academic value. Mountain, you are watching those your dangerous movies in the night when everybody must be asleep. Movie you watch, only you use your piece. I'll be watching like this, like a lot there. I'm almost issue. Lift up your two hands. You're going to pray. Say, Father, save me for myself. I don't know the value of life you gave to me. Save me for myself so that I will not waste it. I don't know the value of purpose you gave to me. Save me for me. Save me for me. Save me, save me, save me for myself. You are not praying at all like somebody that wants to be free. Mountain, tell the Lord to save you from yourself this morning. Save me for myself. Save me for myself. In Jesus' sweetest name, we pray. Child of God, listen to me. Number one seven facts you must know about the battle of life i used to pity joshua because he's just busy he doesn't he, he's not catching up with the speed of the intelligence that is required to fulfill his destiny <laughs> seven facts fact one about battle the battle of life is a universal problem god does it the battle of life is a universal problem. There is nobody that is free from battle. 
I want you to know this morning that you have a battle to fight. You, the battle of life is a universal war. And nobody is free from battle. As you are there, you have a battle to fight. Your family has a battle to fight. Am I speaking to somebody, sir? Your friend have a battle to fight. Your children have a battle to fight. It is a universal battle. See, let me tell you the truth. I have not traveled all over the world, but I have had contact with people all over the world. And why are they contacting me? Battle. So I used to wonder, you probably want to go to America. Somebody in America is messaging me in Nigeria that he has battle. I mean, re-battle that. You hear some, you say, I don't hurt the people who enter this kind of thing. That shows that battles is a what's up? It's a universal what's up? Run to America. Your battle will follow you. He says, because I'm in Nigeria, that's why I'm facing crisis. Travel to anywhere in the world. Then you understand that battle is what's up? Are you here this morning? Listen to me. Are you here this morning? You usually have violent spiritual attack that you don't understand. You are inside a battle. I mean, you used to have what's a violent what's a spiritual attack. You are inside what's a inside a battle. We got a job for a brother in this church, hallelujah. And the brother would just wake up in the night and be scattering everywhere. He will be scattering everywhere. So when he comes down, they will say, what's happening? He says, he's fighting. Ah, you and who is fighting? They left him the first day. He was becoming a reoccurrence. So they had to report him to the authority. So instead of the authority to sack him, the authority say, you can't live here again. Because ah, you, you are just sleeping. Here, 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 here. Carry and and sometimes the person say he's fighting can come close to Pastor Enesh and Pastor Enesh will be the one that will take the beating. He said he found one of the fight that he was trying to give the demon head boot. He didn't know. He had to give a sharp object head boot. Then the object penetrated his head. Blood busted out. Such are or people are under different oppression. No? I mean, you are going through violent spiritual attack that you don't understand. You are inside what was that? Battle. That lady that they brought her said every time she sleep at night, she would just wake up. All our underwears are off. I said, who is off in your underwear? Say, man of God, that's why I came here. Bless you, remember the story? I, I, funny story like that. So I said, have you tried locking the door that nobody will sleep with? She said, ah, that she has locked everywhere. And she'll wake up, she will not sit on her underwear again. Then who is taking this thing? He said, Pastor, that's why I came for deliverance. Violent attack. Come and steal underwear before daybreak. How many will she buy? And then we prayed for her, and that devil was checked back to hell. She slept, and underwear was intact. She didn't come to church again. But I said, was it two of us that saw you? I said, an underwear. <laughs> Is that not, sir? You are under violent attack. You are going to enter examination or you remember everything you read. The moment they give you script, you go blank. When they say submit, you remember everything. These guys have not seen attack. There's a guy very brilliant in the university. It's the grandmother that wicked that guy. What the grandmother did to that boy is that anytime the boy wants to write an exam, you call him at too much for better exam. The grandmother will bring out score. And pop and wine on the score. Once the guy, I said, I read oil, please, palm oil, please. Once the guy gets to some, the guy will sleep. Once they say submit, I have not done anything, I have not done anything, I have not done anything, I have not done anything. All the lecturer knew he was the best in class, but he never wrote one exams. He was just having automatic references. Until one day he went to prayer, and by prophetic intervention, he was told to go under his grandmother's bread. He saw his score with his name. And then, when he handed the score, his battle ended. Sir! Battles are real. Attack are real. You think you are living your life just the way you want to? There are people remoting your life. There are people remoting your life. They, they, they remote your life. But I'm praying for two people. Every power that wants to waste your life, everyone will waste their life. Amen. Now look at your neighbor say, Battles are universal. Are you here? You have violent spiritual attack. You don't understand. You are inside a battle. 
Number two, are you here? You used to have mysterious affliction. Doctor cannot explain. You are inside a battle. A young girl slept and woke up. You heard me saying the thing. Woke up in the morning and then pain on her neck. Told the mother, Mommy, I'm having pain on my neck. They did this thing, nothing. And then the mother said, Go to hospital. Doctor said, Nothing. And then while they were praying, they saw the girl carrying a hippie. Small girl, they gave a hippie to carry on her head. Can she carry a hippie and not have neck pain? When she was going to doctor's place, she carried the hippie there. Talking to doctor, the hippie was on her head. That's continuous pain until they use prayer to push it off her head. That was when the pain died. That woman said she came to her prayer and affliction that she had been carrying for 30 years. One night of mercy. 30 years affliction ended that night. 30 years. 30 years affliction ended that night. I'm telling you that battles are real. She said, as you see me like this, Pastor, is this battle that took all money from my hand? He said, the battle rendered me useless. Battle rendered me empty. Before your battle starts, end your battle. There are many of you who don't know you have battle. That's why you are still buying shirts. You are still buying pinafore. You are still buying oil, American oil, Arabian oil. Don't worry, when battle starts, you, you will not have battle. God will deliver you. Amen. But I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. May you not learn before you start praying. Amen. Your amen is on your chair. Amen. Apostle, I don't like this kind of gospel. I'm the righteousness of God. I used to preach it too. I'm, also the, I'm, I'm still the righteousness of God. Yes, uh, also, you can't be more churchy than the Pope. Yes, you can't be what, sir? May God give you understand the blessing. Lift up your two hands and want you to pray. Say, Father, help me so that battles may not waste my life. So that battle will not waste my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Are you here? You are only suffering defeat at the edge of breakthrough. You will see it like this. But it will never happen. It's a battle. Martin, is it what, sir? You saw first class, you didn't carry first class. It's a battle. You went to American embassy, but you didn't get visa. It's a battle. You are close to marriage, but always the marriage will just scatter. Is it what, sir? Are you here? Every time they make promise to you, it's always failing. No promise has ever been actualized. Is it what, sir? You are not talking to me, Senna. Oh, you better tell anybody say it's a battle. Are you here? You are always having failure when others are succeeding. It's a battle. It's a battle. Constant night oppression. So people are having constant night oppression that they are scared to sleep at night. I've heard it before. Pastor, I can't sleep at night. When I sleep, they are coming. You are inside a battle. They are people who carry evil magnets. You know the evil magnet? It's a battle. Your life will be only be magnetizing wrong thing. I mean, you are a single sister. It's married men that will be coming your way. Those are satanic wasa. Anybody that wants to help you must be the one that wants to sleep with you. The one that is inviting you is the one that wants to use you for ritual. I had a boy who is 20 years old. When he was 16, he killed his girlfriend, buried the girl in his father's compound. When he became 20, he killed his own sister, buried her in the father's compound. And this year, he has killed another person, buried the person in that compound. They just caught him this year. Young boy with such serious tendency to waste life and destiny. May they not waste your life. Oh. Your amen is on your chair. Are you here? You have a medical diagnosis that says your case is your the disease in your body. We can't find anything, it's incurable, and they give you a timeline to expect to die. It's a battle. Is that not battle? battle. You are not talking to me. Oh. Are you here? You have a circular problem as you finish one and that one is starting. It's a battle. Are you here? People just hate you for no reason. Is it what's up? You are not talking to me. Oh. Are you here? You just see cobweb cover your face like face cap. I mean, you are going like this. No, but no cobweb anywhere. I will understand that it's in the night. What a boy in the afternoon. 
cobweb will just put you on like a badder, even have your size. Fitted. It's a battle. And I know two people is coming out of this battle. I know two people will surely come out from this battle. Number two fact about battle. Battles arise because there is something the enemy wish to take from you. Why they come to fight you is because of what they want to take from you. If you carry glory, if you see any boy that is seated there and say, I just to me, I don't suffer bad choice because there's nothing the enemy can steal from you. You are useless. You know what, sir? You are useless. If people are coming to steal from Brotobi, it's bro because Brotobi carry treasures. Once they stop coming for you, it's because you are now what, sir? Useless. Nobody visit a useless site. Then tomorrow, you keep having attack. So long the glory is intact, the devil will keep coming. So long the virtue is intact, the devil will keep coming. So long the anointing is intact, what day should come to your mind, Mountain? I have glory. There must be battle. So what do I do? I get ready for battle. No devil will steal my glory. No devil was her. Please, have you heard sister saying me, that brothers used to rush me? Have you heard that, that testimony before? He said, today, nobody's even looking at my side. When they were rushing you, it's because it was what, sir? There was treasure in you. They succeeded to take that treasure. Nobody comes to a dump site. Nobody comes to those things. To do what, Williams? Williams can say, when I used to be a fine boy, sisters used to troop me. When I was in SS1, they troop me. By SS2, second time, they stole in glory. Could sing or come all weary. Do you understand? So now, you know, say, by SS2, say, nobody even looking at my side. Even when I was in university, nobody looked at my side. They gave me. Me, Johnny Bobo of those days. Johnny Bobo, they have taken one makes you Johnny. What does it mean is that boo? It's what's that? Before they steal it, blessed we all had to steal it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look at your neighbor say, Stop that thief before that thief steal from you. Oh, you didn't tell the person like you love the person. The battle against what people carry can start from the womb. What you carry, they wanted to keep your nature from the womb. The battle because evil power have capacity to know the potential of children from their womb. Apostle, are you not saying rubbish? Ah, ah, the three wise men didn't they recognize the star of Jesus? They know your potential before you come into time. They have such intelligence. It's we that we don't know these things. I know God is helping somebody today in the name of Jesus. Please let's pray so that we will not waste our time. We continue the evening. Let's pray. I've shown you what's the first fact about battles. What's the second fact about battle? Battles! Battles arise because there is something the enemy wishes to take away from you. They will not take away from you, Pastor Ennis. I said they will not take away from me. You better be ready to pray. Pastor Ness, you want to pray? Lift up your two arms. Say, my father, every power fighting me because of what i carry the power i waste you in the name of jesus Matthew, you better pray power that is fighting me because of what i carry because of the glory of my life because of the virtue of my life because of the anointing of our life the power be wasted that power be wasted that power be wasted that power be wasted Pray that the Lord will waste that power. Power that is fighting me because of the virtue upon my life. Because of the glory upon my life. Let that power be wasted. I thought somebody came to pray. Hey, Jesus, let me pray. In Jesus name we pray. We used to have a cousin. That cousin's name, I will not call his name. That boy grew under my watch. When he was in secondary school, he was the best. He was very intelligent. You know when they say somebody is brilliant. Then he, in fact, the whole church, attention was on him. People love him. And after that, serving the Lord, came to choir, was very serious. That, why old did that boy die? They wasted him because of what he carried. 
they will not succeed over you. Yeah. And they say you should pray, you cannot pray. Remember, I told you, he said, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. He said, I, the Lord, will contend. If only you call the Lord to contend for you, you are going again. Matthew, lift up your two hands to heaven. Say, Powers. If you have talent, get ready for battle. If you are gifted, get ready. If you have potential, get ready. If you have anointing, get ready. If you have man to get ready, sir. And if there is nothing on you, sit down. Nobody's attacking you. Lift up your two arms. Say, my father, every power that want to attack me because of what I carry, I waste you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Shapaka. Uh -huh. Battles. Battles fighting me because of what I carry. Because of what I carry. Shadabaradaba. I beg, pray, I beg you, pray, I beg you, pray, I beg you, pray. These are prayers you take very serious. Shaka parakata, ibrakata parakata paraka. In Jesus, never pray. Lift up your two hands. You're going to pray this one very well. Say, Powers assigned to embarrass my destiny. I command you to expire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Talk to the Lord this morning. Every power assigned to embarrass, to waste the destiny and shatinama. Lebrekete bara de siada. Era da 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 bas. Era da 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 bara da da la bas. Every powers that want to embarrass my destiny. I thought that young brother would just take her time and just say to it this morning in prayers. Every power, let us shut up by Kataniana. Every power, let that power be wasted, let it be wasted, let it be wasted, let it be wasted. Shakaba, Aparata Kabarada. In Jesus' name, pray. Lift up your two and you're going to shut every enemy waging war against me i terminate you now every enemy waging war against me i terminate you now go ahead and pray quickly I beg you take our time to pray. Bless you, bless you, pray, bless you, pray, bless you, pray. Every part that want to terminate my family, that want to terminate my destiny, that want to terminate my ministry, terminate academy. I terminate you in the name of Jesus. Kaparia kasaparia ratata kataparaka aya romilo wo angama gabakaria pa was that want to terminate my ministry before my ministry start I terminate you 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 amakwa rataba waga brokata shataba rataka debede Ah, 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 ah. In Jesus' name, I pray. You're going to shout, Oh God, arise. Pray these prayers very fast. Too. God answers prayer. It's a season of answer prayer. Lift up to us. Oh God, arise. Bury my dream attack. Us. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, bury my dream attackers, my destiny attackers, my glory attackers, my academy attackers, my finance attacker, attacker of my children. Bury them, bury them this money, bury them this money.
I know they don't want you to pray. Apaka prakata maikos kaparia. Attack, oh God. Every of my dream attacker, academic attacker, Abarada Bakasaba, Rapataka Barakataza, Rapakata Barakataza, Rapakata Kapatakaza, everyone attacking my admission, I attack you, Lord, bury them. Those attacking my finance, attack them, oh God, I bury you alive. Everyone in this community for attacking my ministry, Lord, arise and bury them. Everyone, oh God, attacking the teenager. Arise and bury them. Arise and bury them. You better pray. This is not a Jelenke prayer. Oh God, arise and bury everyone attacking my life, attacking my health, attacking my ministry. Everyone attacking my prayer life, attacking my prayer altar. Everyone attacking my admission in 2024. Oh God, arise and bury them. Arise and bury them. Ah, Sakra, lekete bara, ilekete bara, ilekete bara, ilekete bara, leprekete bara, dus ilekete ke bara da, lekete leke bara da, bury them. My stepmother, my wicked stepmother, wicked landlord, wicked landlady, community witches, a brother bara da, incense bona, sacronanza, sacronanza, I waste you, I got the brute. Every wicked man and woman in our city will bury you. Oh God, arise and bury them. Arise and bury them. Arise in your fury. Pour out fire of judgment. Pour out fire of judgment. Everyone attacking us. Attack them and bury them. Attack and bury them. Brother, pray. You must be admitted this year. Power keeping me at home. Power stopping my progress. Arise and bury them. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Everything they've done to me, I destroy by fire. Lekata barada. Can you pray? Shut up. Ilebrekata. La barata. Leperekete, barate kasia, barakata kata, pash. Mana naka barakata. In Jesus' name, pray. And if you are in church, pray this prayer very well. Lift up your two eyes. Every battle that want to program me to beg for bread. You are a liar. Your, your wife, keep bed. Sir, sir, uh, sir, can you buy pampas for us? I'm looking for house rent. I'm looking for my school fees. That's the destiny of a beggar. Lift up your two uh, powers, battles that want to make me a beggar. You are a liar. I reject the destiny of a beggar. Open your mouth and pray. I will not be a beggar. I refuse to be a beggar. I will not beg to eat. I will not beg before I eat. I will not beg before I wear clothes. I reject. I will not beg to pay children's coffee. I will not beg to pay us rent. You better pray. Reject that destiny. Reject that destiny. I will not be a beggar. I will not be a beggar. Reject the destiny of a beggar. That brother is not praying. No matter how tough Nigeria is, I will not be a beggar. Powers and battles that want to make me a beggar. I said no to you. 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 A rabbit in a caparacataba. Like a gagadeca bracatele. La brataca bruscarita capa nuiterete. Rateca parota cascapaya. Rania capaya. 
I refuse to be a beggar. I will not beg before I eat. I will not beg to feed my child. I will not beg to pay us rent. I will not beg to do good. I reject the destiny of a beggar. That brother is not praying. Who want to make me a beggar? You are a liar. You are a liar. The Bible says, I shall learn to nation. I shall not borrow. He said that we learned this is my prophetic inheritance i lay claim by the spirit of god by the authority of god by the authority of jehovah i lay claim i lay claim i shall not be a beggar i shall not be a beggar your mate are praying you are not praying your mate are praying you are playing this is how destiny is formed though this is how greatness is released oh this is how god changed the story of people it's only prayer we can pray and when we pray there is an assurance that we know that god will answer in Jesus name pray lift up your two arms this one you pray it very well every strange hand attacking my star why you cannot see when a star is shining it will be easy to get married when I say somebody is a star it will marry easily huh? everything they do will fall the bus in place but when they are attacking your star how are you it will be almost difficult to achieve anything great. So now your star will not be attacked. Yeah. Martin, pray. Every hand attacking my star. Every hand attacking my star. I mean, somebody speaking against you when they want to help you. The person is always against you. You don't understand. Those are the people I'm talking about. You're going to praise it, my father. Every hand attacking my star. Dry up. <laughs> Attacking my academy, dry up. Attacking my business, dry up. Attacking my ministry, dry You better pray. Where are those hands? Hands of the devil. Hands of wicked men. Wicked men and women. In my lineage. In my father's house. Shut up. Shut up. Those hands must dry up. Those hands must dry up. Those hands must dry up today. Enough is enough of wicked hand upon your life. Those hands has to live your life now. Can you take authority? Every strange hand upon my life upon my health upon my ministry dry up in Jesus no pray take this one quickly powers that want to punish my parent mm -mm. power that punished my parent and uh, now after me, now after me. You, are you are a liar die i mean they kill your parents with stroke scatter their marriage scatter their business kill them before time and they are after you brother you better wake up lift up your two hands amen i told you the story of that boy that day why is it that all your mother's children, everybody is doing well with you? Why? Because it was her in the battle. And let me tell you the truth. It's because you are the one that have the biggest glory among all of them. They stop you. Because if your glory has spoken, you are the one that will take the family from where they are. So they stop you. And we're together. But you can still pray and pull yourself out. Powers that punished my parents that are now after my life you are a liar that boy said when my mother gave birth to me she died when my mother was 
he was the only child. He too, when they got married, the wife gave birth, the child died. The power that killed the mother came for the child. And then the guy began to run mad in prayer. No. Not again. Not again. Everybody, you can unfold your hand and they finish you. A closed mouth is the closed destiny. That's what I'm saying. No more about you. Lift number two hand. You say, Father. Father. Every powers. Every I can't hear you. Every that punished my parents. That punished my Did your parents go to school? Uh, they punish them now. You are you going to school? Is it not looking like the same now? Is it not looking like the same? Your parents didn't go to school. Nobody heard your voice in life. They almost silence your voice. And you want to agree. Lift up your two and bless it. We'll not go agree. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Powers that punish my parents. That after my life, you are a liar. Dad! Open your mouth and pray. Sigini na mangini mo kumbria, egede ma aku haria kasia, eregede barada kabrada, emimi mo, ebra emimi mo konwo, labra akata barades. You better pray. The powers they must be arrested, they must be wasted, they must be humiliated. Baraka barada 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 bara, baraka da barada ba. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 In Jesus' name I pray. Because of time. The prayers will be available for you to continue if you choose to. If I were you, I will use this season to pray. I will use this one. This is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Quickly. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Father, we thank you for what you've done this morning. Lift up to one and give the Lord big hand of praise. If you know the Lord, I've answered prayer. In Isaiah chapter 10, and verse 27. I'm praying for somebody immediately after this prayer, you'll begin to see the hand of God. Yeah. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass today. Which day, sir? And it shall come to pass today that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And the yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of us. So this morning you have been anointed for burden to be taken away for yoke to live your life and for yoke to be broken Amen. so as the oil comes on your head i've told you what the anointing will do father every burden upon my shoulder let it be taken away let the yoke around my neck be taken away in the name of jesus and let every yoke be destroyed let sickness be destroyed let attack be destroyed in the name of jesus Come quickly, come and anoint yourself and quickly go back to your seat and make those declarations. Leave the scriptures there and three minutes we are out of here. Thank you, Jesus. If you are online, please get oil and anoint yourself. We are anointing ourselves for 21 days. Something must shift. You must have a miracle. Come up, come up. Pray that the Lord should take off the burden of your life. If there's depth, if you are in depth, let the Lord take it away. Sickness in your body, let it be lifted. Be fast, please, because of others. Jesus, take it away. Take it away. Oh, Jesus. Give to that person. Give to that person. 
Take time and pray. Like a deber de Geber and a bush. Is a good deber de Pede Pedibus. Lebrega de Pata Parada Dabas. By the anointing this morning, let yoke be broken. Lebere de Geber de Bush. Masse precate Badas can brandy casca broto siba. Lebre de Kebara. If you online, anoint yourself. And you better pray, Lord, and it shall come to pass, says the Lord, that the burden shall be taken off the shoulder and the yoke. He said, by the raising of the anointing, let that be broken. Let the yoke of sickness be broken. Let the yoke of untimely that be broken. Let the judgment of wickedness be reversed. Let there be supernatural restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus. Precious name of pray. Jump on your feet as I pray for you. Father, thank you for this morning's section. Thank you for opening our eyes by your word. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for the anointing that is breaking yoke. Thank you for the anointing that is lifting our body. By the reason of this anointing that have come in contact with your head, I decree in the name of Jesus, all financial battles is over. Sickness, the root of sickness that you cannot explain. I mean, sickness that are mystical in dimension of manifestation. By this anointing on your head, they are arrested by fire. 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 Everything dead in your life by this anointing is coming back alive. All of your dead spiritual gift is coming back alive. All of your dead gifts and potentials is coming back alive. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare to go from this mountain, begin to enjoy God's favor, supernatural speed, restoration. Every negative dream you had before coming to prayer this morning, because of the anointing on your head the consequence and the effect on it, on your life and destiny is cancelled. In the name of Jesus, it is cancelled. 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 The Lord said he's releasing what belongs to somebody. They've refused to release it for long, but I hear the Lord telling me, say, I decree right now, receive. It is so. It is done. In Jesus' sweetest name of prayer. Amen. Shake the hand of your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God bless you. No more battle. No more water. Tell them, tell them, tell them loud and clear. Tell them loud and clear. No more battle. Shalom. God bless you. We'll meet today at 6 p.m. Please invite somebody. I will also be anointing people tonight in the service. So ensure you bring your head. Hallelujah. The devil.